So we looked at the um, data flow graph. Let's do a design document. Um, this is a flow chart. This, this gives us an overall view of how the software is laid out. Okay. We're going to start at the big picture and see that our software really does two things. It, it will first initialize all of the ports, setting up the direction register and the clocks, and it'll do that once. And then it'll enter a loop where it essentially does two steps. It'll first read all of its inputs and we saw that it had sensors and the activation switch. And then it will test and check for alarm. And it will cause an alarm if the system is active and if there are intruders. And after it does that, it will essentially just repeat it over and over again. And before we make it um, before we make it more detailed, let's talk about what the switches mean. Uh, there is a toggle switch, um, which is on PE2. And if it is a 1, that will mean active. And if it's a 0, it'll mean deactive or not active. And then we have our momentary switches. Our contact switches. Yep. Uh, connected to PE1 and PE0. And if both switches are off, that means both windows are open. Uh, this means there's one window open. This means the other window is open. And so in all three of these cases, we have an intruder. But if both switches are closed, that means the house is secure. All right, uh, those are our hardwares. Now let's see how we're going to make it work. Our first step in the loop is to read uh, the arm or toggle switch. So John, what you're doing right now is refining this big picture by getting into the details of it. Yeah, so we're taking this part here and making it more detailed. And then we're going to read the momentary switch. There's two of them. Now remember, since the toggle switch is on PE2, uh, this is going to be a 4 if we see it. And remember, since the sensors are on PE1 and 0, uh, we see that a uh, 0, 1, or 2 is going to mean intruder, but 3 will mean secure. Next, we will look at what we have. And so if it's armed, and if the switches are a 0, 1, or 2, that means we have an intruder. That's cause for alarm. And the way we're going to make an alarm happen is we're going to toggle the LED. And so if we look at this condition, this is really two things. It has to be armed and there has to be an intruder. And that operation is going to be the AND function. Okay? All right. So once we've toggled the LED, in order to make it toggle at uh, 5 hertz, we're going to have to wait uh, 100 milliseconds. So this will be a function call to a routine like we did in the last chapter. But uh, if it's not armed, okay, or if it is secure, uh, that condition means there is no problem, and so we'll shut the LED off. Okay. Now, once we've done the check, uh, we are going to uh, <clears throat> go back and read it over and over again. Uh, so in summary, uh, we're going to read our inputs, make decisions based on those inputs, 
And that decision will either to be set an alarm, which is to flash the light, or to turn the light off if things are okay. All right, so let's translate this flowchart into actual code. Yes, let's. 